uh, just play the video lah. Morning guys, just woke up. Here's my morning face. Gonna shower now. Nah. Yeah man. One more time. Nah. Kick. Nah. Yeah. That's the way man. That's the way. Good girl. So I have showered. Jason is uh, is here already, and I'm gonna get ready. And you guys might might think, hey, why? Oh, his eyes is so different without the contact lens. Yeah, let me show you how different my eyes is without my contact lens. There you go. Do you see the difference? Contact lens, no contact lens. And it's not because I, I like enlarging contact lens to act cute or something to look like an alien. But I really cannot see. I think I didn't know the, the right circumference of the uh, lens. Now I'm used to it. And I think like, I don't know, I just prefer this one now. Uh. Uh, I've not changed my contact lens for a very long time. The reason why I put on my contact lens is because I can't see. That's the main reason. I got my contact lens from Pinky Paradise. You guys gotta check the website. There you go. Ah, now I can see. Now I can see you. No, actually I cannot see you. You are behind the camera. Like, you're, you're, you're looking through the phone and watching the video. I'm gonna do my hair now. Let me show you how I do my hair maybe. So one thing about me is I, I always gotta blow my hair. I have like very wavy and curly hair. I, it gets a bit too curly. Uh. I, I like it like at least with volume and like slightly straighter. But not too straight. I like to put my hair down. I do not know. It covers up my big forehead. I uh, I'm just chilling. I'm waiting for a friend to come over my place to help her in some of her work. You know, it's strictly work and chilling with Jason right now. I've um, been watching videos. That's my favorite pastime. Not only I make YouTube videos, I watch YouTube videos too. And I recently watched a Chain House video and I must say I was touched. I was really touched. I mean, if anyone would ever meet me, um, in any situation of my life, you know, I've been, I've been getting people who ask me like, what happened to you in China? What happened to you in China? Every single time, when someone asks me, it just didn't turn out well. It just didn't turn out well. Things that I didn't like about him and there are some things that he didn't like about me. There's a lot of uh, differences. Until today, I it breaks my heart because he used to be a huge part of me, you know. I used to be so dedicated to him, like to an extent where I would support in anything he does anything he does you know do you have, i do not know whether about about you guys you know whether you know anything your best friend do it's correct even though it's wrong you know it's wrong you know but you will support them because you really trust in them you, you really love them that much and that's why i felt with that in, immense dedication i had for him i i kind of had a flaw in me as a friend Whatever he says, you know, like, okay, he lied a few things and then after that I said he did this then, and then it will never end. Uh. And I must say, I, I watched back through the video that I, I made, you know, why I left. It was not, I didn't see it as an attack. I didn't see it as a, like a slandering someone. It wasn't, it was me explaining because I was misunderstood. I was, I was seen as a person who left my friends. I, I did not leave my friends. Yeah, when I heard that he has that empathy towards my situation when I break up, I, I wasn't surprised because I know he's not a bad person. I even told my mom, uh, mom, you see, uh, Chenao does have empathy. You know like how Dikos sometimes is very, he's an asshole, you know, he's like, uh, he's gonna break up, you know, or oh, he's a skinny guy, he's a loser, he's, he's pathetic, blah, 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 he's toxic. But there was also some mentions from his video which I would like to acknowledge where I felt that I'm supposed to carry on. You know, there was one video he found out that I deactivated my accounts because I was so stressed. You know, I, I'm a person who get easily stressed up because I didn't want to burden people. I was 
messed up in my thoughts, my my res- my my commitments, you know, with my family. I was so stressed up. I mean, he was he was doing so well, and he is still doing very well, you know. What would I want to say to him? Like, hey, I'm having this problem. I'm having that problem. I'm not gonna be a burden. If I'm a burden, I just feel like I should just leave. And I left, and I was seen as a person who betrayed the friendship. I have nothing else to say. This is not another part two slandering, part two defaming, shading. I don't do shading, man. I I shade on a on a paper with a pencil, that kind of shade. No, that's a very lame joke. But I I I know he's a good person. When I first uh, call him my best friend, and I still feel that he's still a good person. And when people see, uh, yeah, screw Chen Hao, uh, or even screw Nicole, uh, or screw Diko Diko Asha, uh, Diko pula. I don't, I don't want to seem to be uncut anyone. You've seen my videos. I don't put like, hey, uh, this famous person put inside lah. Every time I put who, some normal friends who don't really do YouTube videos. Put my girlfriend, my family, who's famous, I put in my video. <coughs> Stephen Lim is kind of famous, so super famous, right? Right, Stephen Lim. I don't want to be seen as an un- person who uncut people or to who try to collaborate with big people. I try to do me. I always try to be real, but people say I'm a liar lah, I'm a whatever lah. Whatever it is, all the best to everyone. I mean, I've not been contacting Chen Hao also. I recently unblocked him. See, I, I, I'm gonna confess a few things. Uh, I blocked him because I felt immature. Lah, okay, immature. Then I unblocked him recently. Say, why you are, why you block me for a year? Then I tweeted also. I said, um, because I was a bad friend. Right? I, do, I do not know how he feels about me. I do not know about Nicole also, whether she's doing fine or not. And I really wish. I, I went through this life with a lot of people trying to go against me, trying to bring me down. I feel, I don't know. Lah. I just, yeah, I must say, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right, but I just feel sometimes everyone is against me. But, yeah, that's why uh, I have my own flaws. This, uh, once again, I reiterate, not trying to get sympathy, trying to make it clear, I have no grudges towards anyone. Don't live with grudges. If I would see you, no, any one of you who feel that I had grudges with, I do not do not to give sour faces to each other. Getting older, you have lesser friends, and you keep a few, and you just wish to have also lesser enemies. You don't want to have any enemies, you know. Okay, I hope that you. I hope I did make sense. You know, sometimes I don't. I don't script this. This kind of video hard to script. You tell me. I just say it out. I say it out. Um. Yeah, I do miss people that are gone in my life. Everyone have their own way to learn. Pick up himself. Yeah. Is my head okay, okay? I'm hungry. I'm gonna cook now. Yeah, I use my phone to vlog. I'm using my phone to vlog. I'm cooking right now. I have a friend here called Diana. My others, this, this my, my brother likes to be on the headphone. I do not know. Very anti-social. But that's his hobby. Tatiana is like my it's my jam nowadays. I'm cooking some fish ball, some, some, some sausage. Nothing very fancy. I'm actually gonna just cook instant noodle. That's my lunch. Are you judging my cooking? Okay, I finished cooking. You say you don't eat? Is it because you think my food is not nice? I try to try inside me. Are you gonna eat my food? Yeah. Uh, right now we are all getting ready for a dinner. Jason and uh, Diana is gonna join us. Just showing some uh, some of my files. You know, I keep I keep small certificates. I don't know whether you can see it. If I join some scrabble competition, some small competition last time, I keep every single certificate because I think you need to uh, embrace the small achievements before you can uh, get into. Yeah, yeah. My face a bit weird. You wanna see my face a bit weird? Yeah, yeah you can see. This one. Yeah. So yeah, slowly you you collect all the small pebbles and you uh, you get a big big diamond, big rock, big mountain. So um, as we were ordering, my my brother that is celebrating his birthday is crying because he misses that. If you guys do not know by now, I lost my dad. And the sad part is on the 17th of February, he's celebrating his birthday right every year. And on the 19th of Feb, we saw him. Um, he, he just reminded him of how he lost his dad on the 19th of Feb. So it's just a few days after his birthday. So every time his birthday, 
he gets emotional and I I feel I need to to give the best for him today. And right now I'm seeing him cry really breaks my heart and I I really wish that he could stay happy. So right now I think Putra is trying to open the gift. But yeah, my brother is called Putra. Uh, his real name is Kalisha, but everyone calls him Putra. Kawan dia bagi apa? The best friend gave him a gift. Family kalau ibu marah, timbang ibu ya. Belikan timbang minyak minyak. Tertinggi solo so play gak toy kan? Yeah, okay. So thank you to Shayim. Thank you Shayim. Thank you Shayim. Say thank you. I love you, my best friend. Yeah, I love you, my best friend. Yeah. We are the best friend ever. Yeah. Then we don't have some. Say. Ha, Jason Koko is trying to give a present. So hey guys, we're almost done with our dinner and then we are about to uh, wait for the uh, cake and then after that uh, we I was thinking why 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 touch fish torch you know why, why why how they came up with the name is because the, the owner told me it came from the daughter's name Natasha very sweet very sweet story Diana tell me more about the food so they are thinking of having the American food with a twist of the local um, taste and their signature dish is actually the bomb buffalo wings and also the pesh gulag so you better try it out and you how, how to go here how to go here tell me uh, you can come come here uh, it's at 50 Kandahar street and it's near what it's near what what oh. say Sultan Mosque it's near Su Sultan Mosque and food is delicious and Nice. And it's halal. Once again, happy birthday to my little brother, 13 years old. Follow his Instagram, try to act handsome, but he cannot be more handsome than me. Are you happy? Ah, uh, yeah. You must be happy. Go, 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 go. Like this video, subscribe. See you guys!